So in, in, in the beginning of your career, fear is what drove you, you know, right? And, and then at this next point of your career, you let fear stop you. What do you feel was the difference with how fear drove you so heavily in one point and then now it, it stopped you? Yeah, but so fear always stopped me. Um, when I, you know, I started, I was training, I was prospecting and all that. I was prospecting because I was afraid of not, you know, I could not, failure was not an option. But I still let fear stop me like door knocking, I would only do the phones because I could handle that. But the first time I went door knocking, I don't know if you've seen, I, I talk about it a lot. I don't know how many videos I talk about it on. But my first time, the very first time I went door knocking on a Purcell Bay owner um, was I'd been in for like four or five months and Dan was kept telling me, if you want to get better results, you'll be better face to face than on the phone. So go door knock. And so I'm like, yeah, I don't know. I was terrified of that because that extra layer of protection was gone. Now face to face rejection would hurt more. So I finally did it. Very first day, very first for Bay owner. I'm walking up onto the porch, big Texas ranch style house with a big wooden porch. So when you step up on it, your dress shoes, it's like bam, bam, bam. And the front door was open with the screen door closed. And I heard the guy on the other side of the screen door go like right as I step up on there, he goes like, "Are you a realtor?" And I, you know, I, I don't, I don't have any memory of what <laughs> happened next, except that he said, "Then get the blank off my porch," and he yelled. And I just, I don't remember. I literally have no memory of what happened next. But when I came to, I was in my car, yeah. and it so rattled me that I did not knock on another door for years. Uh, so, so I'm gonna. So fear did stop me. Um, fear stopped me over and over and over and over again. Fear stopped me in my life. It stopped me in my relationship side. Um, it, it just stopped me more times than I can tell you. Uh, and there just came a day that I had a breakthrough moment uh, when I went skydiving for love, if you want to hear about that story, that I said, I'll never let fear stop me again. And that was the turning point. Yeah. yeah. It, was, it was a few months after that when I, when I, this when I launched my coaching company and I knew I would never let my fear stop me. And if fear doesn't listen, you know, here's the thing. And you know this, and this is probably the message to agents that are struggling. Fear is probably the only thing that can stop you. Uh, at some level, whatever stops us, it's that we are afraid of something. And if you can learn to pursue your dreams, pursue your goals and stay true to your commitments and never let the fear stop you, in this industry, there's nothing else that can stop you. Even when the market turned, it was fear that killed people. Um, they didn't want to, they were spoiled and they didn't want to, you know, they didn't want to make the changes because it was uncomfortable. So even that is a, to me is an element of fear. Yeah. Well, what's so cool about it? it I mean, I haven't heard, you know, the, these stories uh, uh, or you share these stories before, you know, and, you know, people that might see on your, your YouTube channel and, and other things out there, it, it, a lot of people see that kind of stuff and they're like, oh, I, you know, he doesn't get it. He can't relate with me, you know, right. But then when you learn that you were an introvert, you had, uh, 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 you suffered with massive fear, you know, right. Cause it's, it's the number one thing when I talk to agents of like, they know, like we can break down the path to a deal. You're right? like, here's how many dials, here's how many conversations, here's how many appointments set, here's your goals. Here's what you want to create. Here's all the numbers, you know, right. And I can even then give you the contacts you just got to get on the phone and do the work. And, and, and that fear of that, that call reluctance, whatever you want to call it, man, it just stifles so much uh, uh, success out there. So from your personal experience, as well as now coaching and training, you know, thousands of agents on, on this stuff all over the planet, how do agents overcome that fear of call reluctance that, that is so just real in, in, in people? Yeah. Well, not, so, I mean, there are two, it's, you know, this is one of those things, it's much easier said than done. And you'll hear people say that, well, that's a lot easier said than done. And I'm like, of course it's easier said than done. Everything is easier said than it is to do it. It's easier to say it than it is to do it. So yes, here, so here's the thing. You got to decide what you want to do and then you have to do it. And you have to know that whatever resistance that you have to deal with, you have to deal with. And whether your resistance is fear or it's a lack of, you know, it's like, I don't know what to do or I don't have the ability. You've got to, you've got to figure it out and be willing to push through the resistance. You know, one of my biggest, the biggest challenges that I see when I'm dealing, especially with millennials, 
um, is that they're so afraid. They're so smart. They're smart. They're talented. They've got so much of an edge because they know technology. And they and and the, one of the things I love about millennials is they want to make a difference. That they 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 want to do something good for people, for the planet, for society, whatever it is. They want to do something good in their life, but they're afraid of looking bad. They're terrified of that. Well, look, you're, you're going to suck before you succeed. And I spell succeed as S-U-C-K-S-E-S-S. -S -S. I mean, that's, you got to be willing to go through the suck to get to the cess. The suck first and then the success comes next. So you got to be willing to go through the pain of sucking at something. And you, you know, we, we, the military, they talk about embrace the suck, right? You've got to be willing to go through the suck to get to the succeed. That sucking is the seed of succeeding if you're willing to go through the pain. And so it's just like, I was not willing to do anything else but succeed. And so I can give you, you know, I give people the, the, the I train on scripts. You know, scripts is actually a very small part of what I train on. Um, it's what I'm known for because it, it was one area where I had definite mastery. But it's here's where all the stuff is mastered. This, master this, okay, cool. But you master this, you're unstoppable. You Look, you've never used, you know, you've never, you probably haven't ever memorized a single one of my scripts. And I don't know if your team uses it or not, but it doesn't matter, right? This is not, this is not the magic. I believe these are the best scripts on the planet. But good scripts will work with anyone when they master the con. They master talking to people. They master the perseverance and willing to go through the thing. So you just have to commit to do it. So here's the two things that I would say is one, decide what you want. And then this is, and the real estate is the vehicle that will get you there. And then, then figure out as a real estate agent, it's not about real estate. It's about the people that you serve. It's about the client. You, you win with clients. You win the ability to get people to say yes to you. And so I just looked at it and go, like, okay, what do they want? And how do I become the best in the world at helping them get that? And if you can, if you can go into a conversation and somebody, the person on the other side of that conversation, a, a buyer or seller, believes, number one, that you care about what they want more than you care about what you want. And that you are great at getting them what they want. They will follow you anywhere. So what do people want? And they, here's what they want. They want results. They don't, want, they don't care about crap about your fluff, about your technology. They don't care about your website. They don't care about your marketing. They care about, can you get me the best results? Can you give me the best price? The, you know, my home sold the best, times, the best time possible with the best terms of price. That's what I care about. Can you get me the result? And when they believe that you care about that more than you care about getting a listing, which is, you know, think about when, what, how we were trained when we got into the industry. They said, you got to go out there and get a listing, right? Got to get a client, get a listing. Get a buyer. Well, it's all in our mind. We're focused on what we want rather than what the client wants. And I just shifted and go, what if you took and you, you said, what I want is to help a client get from this home into their new home, from here to San Diego, or wherever they want to go, whatever they want. My job is to help them get that. And if that's more important to me than what I want, then I no longer go in and get a listing. I go in and inspire a seller to hire me to help them get what they want. And that shift of my focus is no longer on what I want. It's on what they want. When I, you know, I do like, if I do a webcast, I'm thinking, this is how I prepare for a webcast. How can I help these agents that are going to be watching this? How can I help them succeed and make more money and have a better life? Because if they can, and I believe you can, you know what, you can see it in people's eyes when they're in it for the money. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's a different vibe. There's a different look in their eyes. And when people believe that you're just in it for the money, they're not going to trust you. They don't feel safe. They resist you, even if you're good. So when people look at you and they listen to you and they watch you and they go like, I think he really cares about me. They will follow you. They'll give you money. They'll give you whatever, you know, whatever it is that they need to get what you can help them get. So I focus on that as a coach. It's like my goal is I want their success more than I want their money. <laughs> You look at a seller and go like, I want to help this person get from this house to the next house or whatever their, their goal is. I want to help them do that in the best way possible. If that's your number one commitment and you're great at actually delivering that, you, you're unbeatable.